Hi everybody, we're uh, we're conducting another interview with uh, another uh, doctor uh, to just get a, a visual of how the U.S. is doing with uh, COVID-19. Um, so today I'm talking to my good friend, Dr. Scott Coletti, a chiropractor at Bay West Health and Rehab. He's in the Tampa, Florida area. How are you doing, Scott? I'm doing uh, wonderful, Doc. How are you? Good. I'm doing great. Thanks. So. What I'm often seeing with a lot of people and talking to a lot of, a lot of uh, my colleagues online and on, you know, on the phone is it seems like there's a, a bit of a delay. Uh, New York and Washington State seem to be the ones that are most um, advanced with uh, dealing with COVID-19 just because they hit right. there first. And we started hearing on the news, uh, actually in, in a Tampa area, uh, Florida, how, how the young people in, uh, going down for spring break we're not uh, adhering to any guidelines. Um, what type of guidelines are in place for Florida right now? Well, right now, Doc, there is um, an executive order was placed uh, by the Governor DeSantis, I believe it was on uh, last Wednesday, with regards to shutting down all the public beaches, uh, all the uh, restaurants, they can only do takeout. Um, in all non-essential emergency type uh, practices, uh, elective surgeries, whether it's like a, you know a, a knee replacement, a hip replacement, those types of things, those have all been shut down. But uh, fortunately at this uh, date and time right now, I'm just traveling back from my office. We are open and full running, um, but not naive enough to know that uh, a message could be sent out immediately to, um, tell us the contrary so um let me ask you um were these uh sanctions put in place before or after we started all seeing on the news that the college kids were, were uh partying on the beaches of uh Tampa, in the Tampa area well i think that was just uh actually last friday where okay. they uh as of midnight is when they shut down the beaches uh i can tell you this though from the you know we do live i live and reside in the Clearwater Beach area, which is a, a um, melting pot of, of significant spring type breakers. And it's, um, it's not near what clearly what, it's, what, what it typically would be during this period of time of year. Um, but again, just traveling here on the roads right now, I would probably say um, we're looking at about 50% capacity of what typical traffic would, would be. Um, so, you know, without a doubt, no, not California, New York, or Washington, but, you know, we're, um, we're uh, you know, I think the governor is really just trying to keep things moving and going and really preface the importance of, you know, separation six feet um, and, and stay home if at all possible. I know within our practice, we have taken every precaution and some of the things that I've not seen a lot of chiropractors do is put up a big um, emblem uh, upon their main website. And now what we have on our website is a, the first thing that somebody will see is, you know, here are the precautionary measures we are taking uh, in remaining open to continue uh, business as, as normal as can possibly be. You know, the washing down, we have patients calling us or texting us from the, um, from the parking lot before being allowed in. So we're taking all those precautions and, you know, as I mentioned early, not uh, earlier, not naive to know that, you know, things could change immediately. But uh, like I said, uh, from a chiropractic standpoint, there are still people in need. And Scott, uh, Scott if I, uh, Dr. Coletti, if I could interrupt you, are, are you finding, you know, in order to, to stay open and, and provide uh, a safe area where out without cross contamination. Are you finding it difficult to have the supplies uh, to clean? Uh, yes and no. Thankfully, we have a pretty good stockpile of that. But we are. Uh, I know we just had a back order of just general Lysol spray. Um, you know, we're wearing gloves in the office. We are not wearing masks. But again, we are taking every. Um, you know, we're keeping the distance. And I'll be honest with you. Here in Florida, the Tampa area, we're not seeing a lot of, um, our numbers are down 17% last week. Uh, this week, it yet to be determined, but uh, clearly down, but not 
significant. But from the cleanliness on, on making sure we're getting things that we need to stay clean and uh, preventative from spreading the virus, um, we've been okay up to this point. We so, really have, and I hope we've stayed this way. Uh, I hope so too, for you guys too, because that would probably mean it didn't spread as uh, rapidly down there as it has in some other areas. I know in our office, we've been very proactive in our approach from weeks and weeks ago. Um, we, are an, uh, we are in an application in New Jersey, what's called ambulatory care facility. So prior to, uh, to even this occurring, we were getting consultations with infection control specialists anyway. So we had certain pr protocols and procedures already in place that we had to perform. Um, we've, we've had a, a large amount of uh, disinfected products for, for a while now, just, just the way we are. We kind of order bulk uh, every month and re-up. So we just, uh, we just you know, sped up the, the order. It was, it was supposed to occur um, you know, a week out. We, 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 we ordered, uh, took another order a week sooner so we'd have a lot to, uh, to spare if, if it comes down to that. We do have concerns up here about uh, running out of things um, as far as um, supplies to uh, create barriers between ourselves and the patient for personal protective uh, devices. Uh, we also do not have masks at this time. They're not available anywhere we look. Um, most masks that you see people wearing now are recycled, so to speak. They're using days and days and days, and the reality is they're not really doing the job anyway. So we do have some on order. We're hoping to get them. Um, you know, in case it comes a time where it's absolutely required to wear them. But at this point, gloves disinfectant on the tables between each patient. We're doing virtual check-ins. People are, are walking in. They're immediately uh, using disinfectant on their hands. They're basically not touching anything. They're not waiting in a waiting room. They're being escorted immediately into a room. Um, the room was already sanitized prior to them getting there. Uh, we have our air circulation on high. So we have high air circulation in each room. That was something that was designed uh, initially with the ambulatory care facility in mind. Um, Scott, as far as the businesses down there, you, you mentioned briefly that, um, you know, you do get a large contingent of spring breakers. Are you, are you, is your uh, town at all concerned about the e economic impact that now that without spring break there, that they're not going to be taking the revenues that they've uh, usually gotten used to and expected this time of year? Yeah, well, without a doubt. In fact, that's, you know, you know, with, with first and foremost, everybody's um, extreme concern on the actual virus itself and everyone's health and safety, but B, from the economic side and, and small businesses, you know, it is, um, it's, uh, it's, it's a very scary thing and a very scary time and understanding and respecting that on just individuals that you may or may not come in contact with and respecting their, their place in society right now, because everyone's, I think consistent and on the same page of that just worry or concern of the unknown. But um, again, one of the things we're doing with our patients and with the people we come across with is, is just to keep that level of positivity and energy of, listen, we're going to get through this. And I think that our government has done a very good job, I guess, uh, to this point in trying to kind of relay that level of, hey, we're going to be okay, but you know, help your neighbor, you know, help your, do what you can, and uh, we're going to get through this economic downturn. We, we will. Dr. Coletti, can I ask you another question? Because I, I've noticed on social media, I, uh, when we were starting to um, have people uh, suggest them to stay at home, stay responsible, we know, I noticed on social media a large contingent of people from the New Jersey, New York area um, moving down to Florida, whether it was their vacation home or various other relatives down there because it didn't seem to be spraying down there. Is there any thoughts uh, down there of people being concerned that, you know, here are people coming from an area that's dealing heavily with COVID-19 and traveling down to the Florida area? Well, I, as you may have noticed just this morning, I noticed Governor DeSantis said anybody from Connecticut, New Jersey, and New York have to have, have to go on a 14-day um, a uh, 14 day, 24 hour, you know, stay to yourself because I guess, as you were mentioning, you know, you guys have, have are ahead of the curve, so to speak, with a, with a bit more action with regards to the COVID-19 uh, virus. Uh, so again, I think, again, a kudos again to Governor DeSantis in the state of Florida for monitoring and, and doing what he can 
to create the separation so that we can knock this out, but also, um, you know, be responsible for, uh, you know, cross-contamination and just also some of the businesses here to try to keep things as quasi-normal as they, as they can. Uh, and again, it takes just a lot of common sense. And I think you see that and have seen that is the more that we can just kind of listen. The one thing I really hope through all of this is that we all get through it, but then uh, also that we're all going to be kind of, uh, we're going to remember this and listen, wash your hands, be sanitary. Um, you know, th th there's good that's going to come from this. And I think we all just need to work together and, be, and remain positive. I know in our, in our t uh, state of New Jersey, um, some of the towns in the beach communities that are, this is normally the off season for them. And they're noticing with, with a lot of people trying to just be to themselves and keep a distance that, uh, that uh, the, the towns, the beach towns are being overburdened by, you know, the Northern New Jersey people going into their vacation homes. And uh, they're reminded to stay at what's called their primary residence because the, uh, the, the food stores were overburdened. They weren't used to that many people this time of year. So they didn't have a staffing. Um, they were concerned that the hospitals were understaffed with that population density it's recently traveled down there. So there's a, uh, I saw some news articles today reminding people that uh, the governor of New Jersey was saying, you're supposed to be staying in your primary residence because that's typically where, um, where we're, uh, uh, have the proper amount of people to handle this type of situation versus a slippy little beach town. Scott, Correct. is there anything else you'd like to share with us at this time that's going on down there? No, just first and foremost, Dr. Perna, you know, you are a, um, an, an amazing advocate, an amazing physician, and uh, I can certainly, I've known you for a number of years as a colleague uh, across the country, um, uh, but, you know, a lot of the patients of your way, whether it be in Manhattan or northern New Jersey, are uh, very lucky to have you and, um, and, and what you're doing, and, uh, and, and thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you, Scott. It's, it's been, Dr. Clay, it's a pleasure talking to you. I know... Oftentimes when I have people in this area who travel down there, we always refer uh, to your area as well. You're very well known in the float area, and I very much appreciate uh, that those positive words. And uh, it's great talking to you. Stay safe, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, Dr. Coletti? You do the same, Doc. Take care now.